we have Co and I teach seventh grade math and science um, at Peninsula K. It's a North Portland school with Portland Public Schools. And today's my birthday. <laughs> for the creation of charter schools, but we've gone far away from their original intent. The original intent was for charters to be incubators for innovation to inform ways that we can improve teaching and learning in traditional public schools. Unfortunately, the conversation around charter schools has been usurped by groups who seek to make a profit off of public school dollars or who want to undermine the public school system generally. Here in Oregon, we've provided public funding for charter schools for well over a decade. Whether you consider charters to be learning laboratories or just better funded schools supplanting a neighborhood public school, the research is clear. 80% of charter schools perform no better and often worse than traditional public schools. Recently, we've seen a proliferation of for-profit online charter schools. Under the law, these online charters have limited accountability, oversight, transparency, and the largest one in Oregon failed to graduate 70% of its students. So my questions are, why is the administration pushing so hard for states to promote charter schools, often at the expense of traditional neighborhood schools? And why is this a federal issue rather than a decision for local communities and its school board? So very quickly, what we need are more high quality public schools in this country. Be those traditional public schools, be those high performing charters, where charters don't have clear accountability, that's not something that we can support. Um, we have dropout factories, be they traditional schools, charters, online, that's unacceptable. So we would never support those kinds of things. I've gone to charter school, national convention, and I'm the biggest champion for high performing charters. But I'm also going to absolutely challenge the status quo when you have charters that aren't good. I always say if you're a six year old or seventh grade, or seven, or seven year old, you don't really know if you go to a traditional school or a magnet school or an IB school or a gifted school or charter. Do I have great teachers? Do I have a great principal? Am I safe? Am I learning? We need a lot more schools that look like that. And uh, what I have seen, um, particularly in inner city communities that historically have very, very tough educational options. I've seen some amazingly high performing charter schools who are 95% poverty, 95% minority, 95% graduation rates, and 90% graduate school on the college. We just need more schools that look like that, again, traditional, non traditional, uh, whatever that might be. And where there's not clear accountability, these are our children, these are our tax dollars, they're accountable to states or to districts. And when they're not held accountable, then that's a recipe for, for perpetuating the opportunity. I couldn't agree with that statement. 